the red tees here. Let me know, by the way, if this has started back up again. It appears to have. Red tees, pin one. Everything out here is kind of firm and fast. It looks like he's got a drivable par four on 16, three par fours under 400 yards, five par three holes. Bonus element, finishing hole is a par three. I don't recall that being a bonus element. I think you're misunderstanding what bonus element means, but that's okay. You can just stick it right in your ear. Another countryside, and that's kind of what I did. We just did a countryside, and I kind of dig countryside, so let's see how we roll here. Well, we're starting off right here next to a clubhouse. There are some cars there. Eric would be happy with that. Good job. We'd have some cars. I like that our tea box is just kind of simple. So here's our tea box. Enjoy. We've got a really lovely first tee shot, I will say. All right, Matt. You're my buddy, so I'm going to give you a hard time here a little bit. Mm. What can I not see from this tee at all? It doesn't matter. Can't see this one at all. But I have a feeling that I can from here, right? I can. So I guess that one's okay. I personally feel like that first bunker is there just to make the groundskeeper angry and uh, to, I don't know, increase your drainage budget or problems or whatever. I like that this tee shot, I can, I can kind of come up here and uh, get a flatter spot, which would be more difficult, or come down here where it's a little easier. But I have to then fight with this bunker, whereas up here it's more just keeping from going right. So there's some nice strategy there. I like it. Also, if anybody's drinking tea uh, over on the right side, they're just going to need to duck. I'm going to hit a stinger and just knock the teacup right out of that little, little lady's hand. A 95 percenter. That seems like a good way to start. You know, don't get up in the flat area. Hit 95 percent. That's always good. Oh, the designer will join us for a few, which is good. I like that the planting is understated and yet present throughout, which is good. I like that you've let shadows and light um, do a lot of the work for you, which is uh, always an easy way to uh, accomplish things. Not a bad green here. See if we can get one close. Ooh, we best bounce over the hole. That's always good. Bounce directly over the hole. Should have looked at the green speed, shouldn't I? Yeah, well, you went in. Doesn't matter. Boom. This is a nice little look for a hole, too. I'm not sure how much the front part of this bunker is going to be in play, but again, from another tee, from another tee, it does add visually, so good job there. It's okay, I'm going to nitpick. Because again, I'm not judging this right now, I'm just playing it nitpicking. I like, though, that you've hidden some of that. I think that that bunker could have been. Uh, expanded up here instead of going longer down the fairway and accomplish the same thing but again that's a personal thing i like the way you've used the shadows of the trees back there it looks like just a big mass of tree but it's really not which is nice 36 14 ah, i'm kind of in between here aren't i let's see what this does Cut, 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 up the hill, up the hill, up the hill, down the hill. And that turned out just like I wanted. Hooray! One in a row. Didn't think I hit that one hard enough at first. 
Use of textures is uh, pretty good so far. I will say that right now, kind of the, the texture use king has become petty. He does a really good job with his uh, texture painting, which I appreciate quite a lot. Now see this, this is what you're thinking about, Grumpy. You can see I can drop down just one club, the most two clubs, and I've got mondo amounts of fairway and fairway that keeps me in it to work with. That's how you give people, that's how you say, okay, I'm going to make your landing area tight by giving you this option if you'd like to take it. That's how that's accomplished. I really appreciate the, the large scale bunkering here. Um, and I like the fact that it visually fools the player uh, into either the bunkers being closer to the green or the green being closer to the player. Um, and it does a really good job of, of fooling you. Boy, those back pins are going to be kind of fun, aren't they? I like it. That fast may cost me. Come back down, come back down, come back down, come back down. There you go. I also am going to commend Matt for one thing that's really weird. You made red your back tee placement. Brave choice. I appreciate it. It's like on Silver City. I was fooling around and I said, you know what? I think gold would look better. So I went with gold. And it worked. At least I thought, I thought it looked better that way. Well, we're off to a birdie, birdie, birdie. Ah, now is when the rubber hits the road. When we get some of these holes that have the sun behind you. So you're, you're catching on to some of these things too. You don't have to be as thick as you think with the planting in order to accomplish a look that appears thicker. We also have not a, not a true cross fairway, but <clears throat> enough of one, like it looks like this is a cross fairway from the tee when it's really not, which is kind of fun. But again, I've got all this room to play with unless I want to take a driver, in which case I don't. Well, that's how to do that. Just make people make decisions. Hello. Don't have to be as thick as you think. That is, in fact, what she said. So, well done, her. All right. Actually, let's go back this way. See if it skips back and runs back down. Oh, I didn't get high enough. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Oh, oh, oh. I love it when Hank Hill got upset. Go. Oh. Lou Ann, put on your clothes. Hank's bean. That's okay, you don't have to hang around for the whole thing. I'm being a little nitpicky here and there. But that's okay. All right, Matt. You're, you're like me, where you have things you like. And one of them is par threes that, that move your eye left to right. You do it, and I, I tend to do shots that go the other way. So we both have that in in common. What is that back there? So that's where our vineyard kicks in. I like that. That's a good, that's a good look. 94, down 13. Oh, a fast. That's going to hose me, isn't it? No, nah, it'll come back off of there. We're fine. I'll make sure and save the really bad stuff until you're gone, Matt. So you just make sure and say, okay, I'm leaving now. Turn, 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 turn. Eh, well, that's okay. I'll say one other thing I like so far is the uh, the mow lines are dialed back substantially. I am a large fan of mow lines being taken almost to nothing. This is a really pretty, pretty one here. I like this. Um, 
and there's nothing, I mean, this is very simple, but the reason I like it is it moves your eyes in, in, in funny ways. I like, I like that. I also like that you can kind of go over this hill. I don't know. It just frame, it's framed very nicely. I'm, I can't explain any more than that. It just is framed very lovely. Ooh, if I saw that from the tee, I'd be a happy guy. My shorts would shrink. I like the ditch. We've done a good job ditching. Ditches are hard because you almost feel like you should lower this front edge in order to see more of it. But do you really need to? No, not really. I think it's fine without it. Um, I'm wondering if you couldn't have done slightly more with this fairway over here. Because I'm not sure why I'd even... I mean, if I missed over here, it would have to be a pretty big miss. So it needs to roll me somewhere, and I don't know that it's doing it quite as hard as I would like. I think it could have been a little, a little naughtier, if that makes sense. And you could have gotten away with it. I should have looked. The bunker's on the left. I'm not sure where, what kind of slope goes down to them. Yeah, that works. It's hard to get the uh, slope on those strong enough to where the ball will actually bounce down into them. Yeah, well, should have paid more attention to my putt instead of just chatting, but that's okay. I will tell you, so far this course has lent itself. I could see this working on CC very easily, <clears throat> which is nice. Not all of them have been that way. And I like the choice to just leave it, you know, this, this tee ground here to leave it empty between the two, but to continue the little um, barranca or whatever you want to call it here. It's nice. We're getting a little, like this is a hole where you got a little bunker happy. Like I feel like, I feel like I want to see fewer bunkers but maybe just make a couple of them larger and sculpt it a little heavier. I don't know. Very fast. I'm going to go check this one out. I'm going to just sit right there and see how this works. i got to check your sand out. If your sand consistency is bad, I mean, that's going to come back to bite you. That's a, that's a new required element. That's a secret required element is sand consistency. So hopefully none of y'all are like, using kitty litter or pooping in the sand. That's too hard. Oh, I crushed it. This was the bunker hole. That's okay. You're allowed to have bunker holes. This was the bunker hole. That's okay. We saved par. So we did all right. Now, this is one where I'm sure people are going to expect me to be like, why did you hide that bunker behind there? Actually, it looks fine. I like that look. Look how huge this fairway looks from the tee. It is a large fairway, but it's not as large a fairway as it appears to be, which is cool. I'm wondering if we could break this. Could we break it? Could we break your hole? I'm going to do it just for fun. Oh, we broke your hole. I don't think it did me a whole lot of good. Actually, it did. That's not bad. I only did that because Jeremy did it on Silver City the other day. He's like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break your hole. And I'm like, oh, you jerk. Oh, well, very fast is not going to help me. Karma. Karma. Karma, karma. Go ahead. Somebody say the comment there. You know, somebody's going to do it. Just say it. Just do it. T-W-S-S. -S. I just wanted to try it, Matt. I, I'm sorry to do that to you because I'm sure you wanted it played correctly so that people could see it. 
and instead I sabotaged you, like the giant a-hole that I am. I thought we already had the bunker hole, Matt. What happened? Did we not just, did we not have the bunker hole? I guess the only reason I pointed out is it, it's more apparent in the holes that are playing away from the sun. Uh, the sand just shines in such a way that you got to really, really play with them. Another thing we have in common. This hole is a little more awkward, but it's not awkward in a bad way. It's kind of an enjoyable awkward, if that makes sense. It may not, but I'm just trying to look at what you've done over here. Because again, playing in away from the sun, this all look, it all flattens out visually. Um, but from here, it's very easy to see that it's not flattened out at all. Run. Fighting the fighting bunker amoeba. Amoeba, sorry. Now, come on, Dom. I don't need you making comments that get me horny. One time at band camp? See, I'm just, it's just my eyes, man. That first bunker. I even saw you uh, making this hole in that first bunker. Just, I feel like you could have done without it. And it, it would have, it would have made the hole even look a little better. Developed band gigs? Sure, yeah. The view off the back of this one is really nice, though. Do what I want you to do, ball. Come on, do what I want you to do. Almost. <clears throat> Didn't hit hard enough. Anyway. Oh, no, you always do. I think, honestly, on those first few holes, it seemed like you, you, you dialed it back a little bit. And then for a couple holes, you were like, where'd all my sand go? My sand! All right, here's another nitpick. What direction does this hole go, Matt? It's a par three. Well, of course we know what direction this hole is going to go. It's going to go left to right. And Reeb's going to hit a fast one and end up in the back bunker for some unknown reason. Well, I mean, in fairness, everybody's got to share. There's only so much sand to go around. Go in the hole. Yeah, well. Yeah, I know, and that, that's what I'm pointing out. We, we all have these little things we fall into where we have a look that we like. You know what I mean? We, we, we do it and we go, oh man, I like that hole. It's just, it's a comfortable, it's a comfortable look. Makes us happy. I am more comfortable with holes that go right to left. Maybe not par threes, but just in general. So I find myself forcing holes to go the other direction at times. See, this is one too. This bunker over here, I think you could have done completely without it. I mean, I, there's just, yeah, you could roll down in here, you could hit it over here, but the rough is going to be just as big a deal. Um, I got a lot of looks down. 
I don't think there's a, a set look for me. I don't know. I feel like you could have done without it entirely, and it would have been uh, would have been fine. This second bunker, I don't mind at all because with wind, it could come into play, or if somebody's in trouble and needs to punch out, it could come into play too. This bunker and this bunker seem slightly out of place from a shape standpoint. I don't know if that's just my eye. Yeah, but see, that's the thing, Matt. I, I, I would rather that edge not be, not be defined. Like, I, I think having it be nebulous would be kind of fun. Yeah, but the shape of this one and the shape of this one don't quite seem as clean as the others. And like this one here, I think you could have you could have brought out a little wider and made deeper. You know what I mean? Give this more of a... Think of Dario's, some of Dario's uh, bunkers, just in their depth. That could have been pretty cool. The hole's fine. I'm just nitpicking a little bit. Because sometimes just another set of eyes can change things for us. So but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go test that bunker out right now. Yeah. Yep. See? See? Wow, that sure seemed like, you know, hit at 95% and yeah, whatever. Whichever. The bunker short right of this particular fairway, yes, that was the one I was talking about. I think you could have done completely without it. Oh, the bunker to the left? I don't know which one you want. Yeah, I'm not worried about it, matey. Like I said, I'm not playing for a score. I'm just kind of playing. And if the shots turn out the way I like, great. But I'm not really focusing on the swing all that much. All right, this is the one that doesn't go left to right. This is the one that's kind of straight away. And again, just shape-wise, this bunker doesn't quite seem to fit. And I think some of it, Matt, is the the width of this area back here. Like, I feel like it needs to be a little wider in order to fit. I don't know. I'm, I'm totally making stuff up and seeing things that aren't there, so I'm just going to shut up. Another fast swing. <sighs> Good morning to you, too. I'm going to have a small child bust through my door in just a second. Boom. HB, fix my putter. Hi. Hi, Eleanor. How are you? Hi. Oh, you're making ice cream? Oh, cool. See, this hole, even in real life, would cause a lot of people some consternation, and I like that. Way to provide me with consternation. Not right now, honey. You go ahead and go play, babe. Ooh, I'm going to get in the flat spot. Yes! Matt's taken some keys from Dario on greens. Good job. Mm. Almost went in. Not quite. Not quite on the bounce. Slide it in there. He would be proud of this green. I think so. Oh, I'm sure you have, Dom. I, there was one I played uh, not too long ago, and and the hole was literally 245 yards long, maybe a little longer. <laughs> oh no, your ice cream! Um, but it went around this group of trees to the left, and there was just, you know, I'm sitting there going, "How can I get it past or over these trees? How can I do it?" I finally took out a, a three iron um, hybrid and bent it around. And made it up near the right side of the green, but it was 
It was seriously blocked out. There was no way over or under. It was either try and fling it around or just quit. Or I guess I could have played it like the part four it was, but screw that mess. Why do that? Try and hit a dumb shot. No, you can get it, Eleanor. Well, good. You do it, then. Huh. That broke back a little harder than I thought it would. That's okay. I tend to overread the ones that go drastically uphill and miss them on the high side almost every time, and I determined I wasn't going to do it that time. Oh, you're, you're totally fine, Matt. I, I, I mean, some holes, that's the defense is the, is the green. That's totally fine. This entire hole, you, di you didn't just connect this green, you connect this entire hole. Look at that. Look, a big mess. A big mess? You better pick it up. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Kick right. Aww. Get off the green. Thank you. No, it's it the it's fine. The hole is fine. I'm just saying this is a this is a crazy Canuck hole. I mean, 100%. Look at it. Wind, wind, wind up the hill. Use the big bunkers for framing and a little crazy of a green. It's fine. My daughter, my daughter is free astute. I like that. Hey, Eleanor, is this hole a big mess? Yes. Okay. Yep. She's on you. She's got you nailed. Yeah, there's a backstop. Let's see what happens. Come down. Come down. Are you British? Yes. And that you call them ice creams? Nobody calls them ice creams here. Like, oh, I have several ice cream cones. Oh, no. Hello, I've got seven or eight ice creams for you. I will say so far, I enjoyed the the front more than I have the back. I think the front, um, I think the front had a little more kuchba. There was just a little more interest. To things the back has felt a little less interesting overall the holes are fine they play great they look great they just don't have quite the same yeah you know what I'm talking about a little something something I know you call them ice creams of course you call them ice creams you limey bastard hey Eleanor come here Come here. Eleanor, come here. Come here. I want you to say something. Come here. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. I want you to say, say HB. HB. Now say HB. HB. There. Good job. You did it. Ooh. I got to tell you, I dig this hole. Primarily, I, I mean, ending on a par three is kind of cool, but I tell you what, the scale of this hole, I mean, it's not the longest, it's 213. And the green isn't even the largest on this course, but the scale of the hole from back here is just lovely. The drop down, the climb back up the hill, it's very cool, very cool. Oh, I pushed it. I pushed it. That would have been a good shot if I hadn't pushed it. It's for me? Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. It's set. Oh, thank you. 
strawberry ice cream with orange topping. That is just how I wanted it. That was terrible. And I don't care. You know, no, I think, I think doing it the other way was fine. And uh, I'll tell you, I think that having an interesting, getting people more invested in the course causes you to overlook things later on. Oh, another one? Thank you. Oh, this one's mint with marshmallows on top. That's fantastic. Thank you. These are all toys, by the way. That's a good course, though. That's well done, Mr. Matt, the Cabernet Club. Again, I am partial to countryside courses. I just, it's one of my favorite themes to, uh, to play in. I would love to, oh, and now a mint ice cream with cherry topping. That's fantastic. Um, but they really make me happy. I nitpicked a little bit, but I didn't go too far. And really, I'm always going to be honest and tell people, you know, if there are certain holes that don't quite measure up. But that finisher really was nice. That was really good. Here, take these. You take those to Tori. Go give those to Victoria. Say, Tori, here's your ice cream. No? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go see if these children want to eat. And uh, if they do, then i got to figure out something that they will actually eat uh, that isn't a peanut butter Nutella sandwich or a Pop-Tart or a hot dog. Um, if it is one of those, I don't care, but that's all right. Take it easy, sirs and folks. Uh, I may do another one later today if there's time. Uh, I may not have time. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm going to try and get in a few more this week. We may actually, and I've thought about um, waiting and doing, uh, maybe even doing pithies with him in the room. <laughs> up in uh, Canada, but we'll have to see. Uh, anytime. Take it easy, folks.